Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem deals with a block that is pushed up a hill. It's given an initial velocity of 8 meters per second, but since there's friction and we're gaining height, eventually the block will come to a stop. At the end, the block will gain a certain amount of height and the velocity at that point will be zero. Now the question is, is the friction force sufficient to keep the block from sliding back down the hill once it's reached its maximum height and reached the farthest distance d? So we're going to find the distance d and then we're going to determine if the block will slide back down the hill. So to find the distance d, we'll use the energy conservation equation. We'll write that the work put into the system plus the original potential energy plus the original kinetic energy equals the final potential energy plus the final kinetic energy, plus any energy lost due to friction. And yes, indeed, there is friction, so energy will be lost. There's no work put into the system because we're using the original kinetic energy, so we don't have to put in a work term, so that's zero, plus it starts from zero height. The original kinetic energy will be one-half mv squared. The final potential energy will be mgh. There will be no kinetic energy at the end because the block is not moving and the energy lost will be force friction times distance. Now the height can be written in terms of the distance. We can say that the height final will be equal to the hypotenuse which is the distance times the sine of the angle theta because it's the opposite side to the triangle. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So we end up with one half mv squared equals mgh plus the friction force, uh, let's see here, friction force, uh, that would be uh, 15, multiply times the distance, which would be, oh, wait a minute, distance, height. No, we're going to change the distance. We're going to write in terms of h because that way we'll solve for h. So let's, uh, um, this one would be h divided by sine of theta, or maybe we want to change this h to distance. Let's do that. That's probably better. Let's go ahead and instead of h, we'll write what h is equal to. That would be d sine theta, d sine theta, plus the friction force, which is 15 times d. And then we can factor out a d and solve for d. So uh, let's see here, we have 1 half mv squared is equal to mg d sine theta. And the friction force would be, let's see here, mm, that would be plus 15 times d. Um, what I wanted to do is factor out the d, right? So plus 15 and the d is factored out. That's better. Okay, now we'll solve for d. So d is equal to 1 half mv squared divided by mg sine theta plus 15. And now let's calculate what the d is. So we'll come up here, we have lots of board space. So d equals one half times the mass, which is four, times the initial velocity squared, that would be eight squared, divided by mg, that would be four, times 9.8, times the sine of 20 degrees, and plus 15 for the friction force. All right, let's see what that's equal to. So we have four times 9.8, times the sine of 20 equals, add 15 to that, move that to the numerator, then multiply times 0.5 times 4 and times 8 squared, which is 64 equals. And that gives us 4.506. Uh, let's see here. So distance equals 4.506 meters. So that's the distance of the hill. Now we'll the block begin to slide back. Hmm. We know the friction force is 50 newtons. That would be the kinetic friction force, which means the static friction force will be a little bit higher, but let's say it's the same. So how do we determine that? Notice we have an mg acting downward. We have the perpendicular component, which is mg cosine theta, and we have the parallel component, which is mg sine theta. And if mg sine theta is larger than the friction force, the block will slide. So is, the question is, the mg sine theta greater than 15 
Newton's question mark? If the answer is yes, the block will begin to slide back down the hill. So let's figure that out. So we have m is 4, g is 9.8, and we multiply times the sine of 20 degrees. And question mark, is that greater than 50 newtons? All right, so we have 4 times 9.8 times 20 sine equals, that's 13.4 newtons. So 13.4 newtons, is that greater question mark than 50 newtons? And the answer, of course, is no. Therefore, block will not slide. All right, and that is how it's done.